Hey guys, I'm at Target checking out the dollar spot, and guess what? The Easter items are out. There's a couple St. Patrick's Day items too, but it's mostly Easter. Check out these cute ceramic glannies. They have a lot of rabbit figurals, as you'll see in the video, but these are the two largest that they've got. They're both a nice bright white with a high gloss finish. These are really cute, and I know they're going to sell out quick. They do every year, so if you see them and you want them, get them when you see them. We also have some cute plush figurals here. These are all made of fabric. Uh, there's a rabbit, a chicken, and I don't know if the yellow one is supposed to be a chick or a duck. I don't know. The, the beak on it kind of looks like a chick, but it's got webbed feet like a duck. Your guess is as good as mine. Now, at first, I thought these were supposed to just be decorative only, but the tags do say ages three plus. So these can be given as toys to kids. For some reason, the chicken has glasses on. I'm not really sure why. That might be something you want to be careful of if you wanted to give this to a kid, you know, because just in case that comes off, you don't want them sticking that in their mouth and eating it. I would think it's on there securely, I would hope, but, you know, you might want to check. They're all pretty cute. They'd make nice decorative items or nice items for Easter baskets. Here we've got some cute Easter egg uh, topiaries or little Easter egg trees, I guess you could think of them that way. These are made of plastic. I believe they're supposed to be uh, faux boxwood with little plastic eggs added for decoration. I do like these. I think they actually look pretty nice uh, next to the ceramic bunnies here. Uh, I would recommend if you got these, maybe getting them in pairs, you know, to put them at either end of like a mantle or table, console table or something. Now here are some of their other bunny figurals. Uh, these are made of resin, gold colored resin. These are not quite as big as the white ceramic bunnies that we were just looking at, but they're still a pretty good size. And of course, what makes these so nice is the, all the detail in them. I mean, you can see all the details of the fur and the, the eyes, the nose, the face. They almost kind of look like uh, carved metal or something. You know, if, if you didn't pick them up, you might not recognize immediately that they were resin. It almost remind me of like metal bookends. Uh, maybe you could probably use them that way as decorative pieces on either side of books on a shelf. Here we've got a couple cute Easter wreaths, uh, one with Easter eggs on it and the other has carrots. These do have vine backings on them. Now they are a little bit smaller than your average uh, wreath, so they might be a little too small for say your front door. Um, I mean, you could certainly display them that way if you want, but I think they might actually be better sized for displaying on windows or maybe on cabinets, uh, like in your kitchen. The carrots on this one are kind of neat looking. It looks like a uh, rope or twine that's been wrapped around the, uh, the carrot form. I think I would definitely add ribbons to these for hangers, you know, just a little something to dress them up. So in addition to all the bunnies, they do have some bird figurals as well, including this one here. This is a ceramic uh, duck, I believe. Maybe it's a goose. I don't know. I can't really tell. But I think it's supposed to be a duck. He's got cute little gold accents on his bill and on his feet. One thing that does look a little weird to me, though, is he doesn't seem to have any eyes. I don't know why they did that. Here's the ceramic chicken figural or hen figural. Uh, this one is similar to the duck in style. It has uh, gold trim across the comb and on the beak. Again, there are no eyes. I don't know. That just, that seems very weird to me. Does that bother anybody else or is it just me? Okay, so earlier when I said they had a lot of rabbit figures, I wasn't kidding. Look at all of these. These are smaller ceramic bunnies than the uh, big white ones that we saw initially. They've got styrofoam on them. I guess these were just unpacked. It must have just been put out. And these would actually make uh, nice items to decorate a tiered tray because of their size. They're just about the right size for a tiered tray. And of course, I'm sure you could use them in a lot of other ways as well. Speaking of tiered tray decor, check out this cute little set. It includes a bunny, carrots, and a little Happy Easter sign. The price for the set is $3, so that's just a buck a piece. That's not too bad. And here's another carrot-themed set. Now, this one actually has two wooden signs, the truck and the carrot farm sign, but there's also a three-dimensional little prop here. It's like a fabric bag with little faux carrots in it. One more prop set here. This one is chicken and egg-themed. There's a wooden hen sign, a fresh egg sign, and a little wooden crate with eggs in it. You know, all three of these sets are really cute, and you know, at just like a dollar per piece, they're a better deal than even Dollar Tree. They do have a couple sets here of wooden Easter eggs. Uh, these are about life size. Come in sets of six. You can either get the unfinished uh, eggs or you can get the solid colored painted eggs. These would be great for baskets or for vase filler, or you know, you could even turn these into ornaments for egg trees. Now, if you don't have a tiered tray or if you're looking for maybe a special one for Easter, they do have this one. It does have two bunny ears there on the top. The frame is made of metal and the shelves are wooden. Nice thing about this is, of course, it folds flat for easy storage, right? So when you're not using it during the rest of the year, it doesn't take up too much space. Just found another wreath here. Uh, it's also made out of vine, just like the others. And this one's shaped like a little bunny head. It's got a couple little faux florals on the front, too. This one is priced just like the other two wreaths at $5. Just like how they had larger and smaller ceramic bunnies, they also have larger and smaller gold resin bunnies. 
Poses on these are a little bit different than the larger versions. Now, the nice thing about these is you get two together. It's a box set of two for the same price that you would pay for one of the larger ones. They also have this box set of two smaller resin ducks. Now, I didn't see larger ones like this. That's not to say there aren't any, though. There might be some. Maybe they just haven't put them out in the store yet. I don't know. Keep an eye out. You might find some. Just found a third set with chickens in it. Now, again, I haven't seen larger ones like this yet, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. They could just be maybe they haven't put them out yet. Okay, guys, so they've got some new decorative wooden crates here. Put these out for the last few uh, releases. They had them at Christmas. They had them at Valentine's Day. And now they've got them for Easter and spring. There are three designs here. The white one says fresh eggs. The green one says fresh cut flowers. And the natural wood one says locally grown carrot farm. All three of these are great for farmhouse style decorating. I feel like these could be kept out year round, especially the egg one. Of course, they work especially well for spring because, you know, an egg crate and Easter eggs, uh, the fresh cut flowers, spring flowers, and of course the carrots. You know, we think of bunnies at Easter, so, you know, bunnies like to eat carrots. Now, you could decorate with these probably in a bunch of different ways, but I think these are kind of nice to use in the kitchen, especially like on countertops. If you have, say, a coffee bar, a cocoa bar or something, these are great to organize things on the countertop. Okay, so we just saw the carrot wooden tray or crate, and here are some plush carrots that you can use to display in it. Might be kind of cute just uh, out of one or two of the compartments, and then you could use the others to organize things. There are three plush carrots in each of these sets. I think these would also be nice displayed with some of the bunny figurals that they have here, or, you know, just put into a little basket, Easter basket. Okay, here's a cute item for the kitchen. It's a wooden bunny-shaped charcuterie board got a nice staining on it. You can really see the wood grain. Of course, this is used to serve food, or that's the intended purpose. But when you're not using it for that, you know, you could use this as a display item in your kitchen. Kind of prop it up on your counter uh, against the wall, maybe. And here's another charcuterie board. This one's uh, shaped like an egg. I think I like the bunny better than the egg shape, but the egg is bigger. So, you know, you have more space to put more stuff on this one. Okay, so we've seen little figurals done in resin and in ceramic. Uh, they also have some that are done in natural materials, including sisal. This is the first example. There are a few others I'll show in a minute, but uh, these are little sisal bunnies. They have two styles here, one that's seated and one that's standing. And uh, I notice again, these don't have eyes. That I don't know, that is just bugging me. Here we've got some sisal ducks. Now these are larger than the bunnies. The bunnies were smaller and only $3. These are $5 because they are a bit bigger. Also, these don't have any eyes, uh, but it would be really easy to glue like a little bead or something on either side to give them eyes if you wanted to. Here's some sisal chicks. Uh, these are small, like the little bunnies. They're $3 a piece. Just a quick note on these, the feet on these are not that great. They do kind of tip over easy, so you might need to adjust the legs or maybe weight them to keep them standing up. More sisal item here. Uh, these are little chickens or hens. I actually do like these a lot. I don't like the fact they don't have eyes, but again, easily solved by gluing beads on. I do think these would be nice displayed with some uh, eggs, maybe some wooden eggs, uh, either unfinished wood or painted like Easter eggs. We've got a couple new wreath garlands out for Easter. This first one here has little painted Easter eggs on it with uh, faux lamb's ear. I love these things because, you know, you can they're very versatile. You can either display them as a wreath, you know, as they are here, kind of wrapped up in a circle, or you can uh, unroll them and use them as a garland. And here's the second style. Now, I admit I'm not 100% sure what the flower is here. I think it's supposed to be lavender, uh, pink and purple lavender, but I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? What does it look like to you? Yes, the tulips are back. Guys, this is a must-buy if you see them. These are what they call real-touch uh, artificial flowers. I, I think they're made out of latex, the top part. They feel almost real. They really do look and feel very natural. And uh, for a dollar a piece, you can't beat this price. These are very pretty in arrangements. There's a bunch of different colors here to choose from. There's a, a pretty pastel pink here, two-tone, I guess. It's got a little bit of darker pink at the base. Uh, there's a two-tone orange and yellow. There's a bright yellow. I see a very pale pink, and it looks like there's a uh, purple, a lavender color, too. I have bought these before from the Target Dollar Spot, and I have been very pleased with them. They look really nice in arrangements, and I I'm going to buy more today. I'm going to get some of these. Oh, look at these cute dish towel sets. I love the one here with the bunny. This is so cute. It's got a little bunny design. It says Happy Easter. Uh, the second towel in the set is a pink and white plaid. That is just so cute. I'm sorry. I've got a thing for bunnies. I really do. I think they're just absolutely adorable. The sets are $5, so $2.50 per towel. That's not too bad. Second one here has a nice uh, chicken design, hen design on it. And the second towel's got a beautiful floral design. I love this blue and white combo. 
Now, guys, I did see some kitchen ceramics that match some of these towel sets, and, you know, they'd make a nice matching set. So just keep watching the video. You'll see those in a bit. And the last set here has carrots on it because, you know, bunnies and carrots. And the second towel in this set is an orange and green plaid. I have to say, I, I like all three of these. I like the designs on all of them. Just found some ceramic egg holders here. Looks like there's two styles. Uh, the green one has rope handles and the white one has ceramic handles. Now these, uh, most people use these, you know, in their fridge, you know, to actually hold eggs that they're planning on eating at some point. But you know, these would actually work nicely uh, to display like Easter eggs too, you know, maybe out on a table somewhere. Either real decorated eggs or, you know, if you want to put little uh, decorated wooden ones in them, for example, that would work too. Found some more bunny figurals here. Uh, these are covered with an artificial moss. There are actually four styles here. Uh, there are two smaller bunnies, uh, one that's standing, one that's sitting, and uh, two larger bunnies, again, with one standing and one sitting. These sometimes look pretty nice in centerpieces. I've seen them done up nicely in centerpieces, but I think they need a little something, like maybe tie a ribbon or something around their necks just to give them a little bit of color. So the two I just showed you were the two smaller ones. Uh, these other two here are the larger styles. Smaller bunnies are $3, and the larger bunnies are $5. I do think these are pretty cute, and I do actually kind of like the green. I mean, nothing screams spring like bright green, right? Here's some more of the moss figurals. Uh, they've got a little duck here for $3. Now, these are the smaller size uh, at the $3 price point. I don't know if they have larger versions like they did with the bunnies. I don't see any out right now. They've also got a small chicken or hen here at three dollars. Uh, again, I don't see larger versions, but that doesn't mean they don't exist for these two. They might, there might be some out there. Maybe they just don't have them out in the store yet. Some more bunnies and hens here. Uh, these are made from some kind of natural material. I'm not sure exactly what. Maybe seagrass or something. Kind of neat, actually. The fibers are braided together into like a rope and then wound around the uh, base shape for the figures. The way they're constructed kind of gives them almost a basket weave look, doesn't it? Looks like these are priced at five dollars. Both have a nice uh, kind of primitive rustic look to them. You know, again, I think this would be another nice farmhouse item. They've got a lot of nice farmhouse decor actually for the spring release here. I do like how they've added a little pop of color to the hen uh, with the red comb. That's that's nice. I like that. Speaking of baskets, check this out. Here's a uh, chicken or hen shaped. Uh, I think it's an egg basket. It looks like an egg basket. Although I guess there's no handle. Usually egg baskets have handles on them. Still, I think it's something that would look nice with eggs displayed in it because, you know, it's shaped like a chicken. But you can put whatever you want in this, I guess. Maybe some flowers or something. This is something I've not seen in the dollar spot before. They are plant figurals, little bunny shaped plant figurals. You just kind of hang them over the pot uh, as shown in the picture here, I guess, so to, to kind of look like the bunnies are trying to get into the pot. They are kind of cute, actually. I, I, it's an interesting idea. I don't know. I just hadn't seen any of these before. This is a second version. Now, these actually go under the pot, so these kind of function like a plant stand. Both of these are really cute. I actually kind of like these. It's a nice little birdcage decoration. Uh, the top part is made of metal and the base is wood. A lot of people use these to make, like, floral decorations or centerpieces. I've also seen candles displayed in them, too, actually. Price on this is pretty good for the size. I've seen smaller bird cages at Michael's for six and seven dollars. Even more bunnies here, because you know, bunnies just multiply, they're all over the place, right? These little guys are made of cement and they are heavy. Don't let their small size fool you, they are really heavy. There are two styles here, a bunny in a standing pose and one that's sitting. And my first thought when I saw them was, okay, a uh, cement figure, that's like a garden statue. And yeah, you could probably use them outside, but I do think they're actually supposed to be used inside. Uh, you want to be careful, though, again, because these are very heavy. You want to be careful where you put them. I have some more cement figures here. Uh, this is a set of three little birds. Now, it may be hard to see uh, because they are so small and because of the plastic wrap on them. Uh, you probably can't see the details on them, but they, they do have some nice, cute faces on them. And there's little detailed uh, feathers to the wings. Here we've got some really big egg-shaped cloches. The tops on these are actually glass and the bases are made of wood. These might make nice centerpiece items. You could fill them maybe with Easter eggs or maybe like a little bird's nest with some eggs in it. I mean, you can put whatever you want under it, really. This is a really cute item. It is a little bunny cake stand. There's a bunny figural on the very top here. Hopefully you can see it. This is made of plastic. It is not glass uh, and ceramic. It is plastic, but it is still cute. I mean, you could use this for uh, small treats like cupcakes or something. Had a lot of nice rope baskets. Uh, I think these maybe were intended to be storage baskets, but I think they could also work as Easter baskets. I really love this one here with the rainbow handles. This is really cute. They also have a nice spring green colored one here. Uh, they are both $5.
Just found a third design here. Look at this cute one with a little teddy bear face on it. Isn't that adorable? He's actually got separate little pieces added for his ears and muzzle. This one would be really cute for a baby's room, I think. You know, just to put maybe toys in or something, just to organize little things. Here's some more baskets. Uh, these are plastic, and they come in three colors. There's a pretty turquoise blue, a white, and a nice bright pink. Let's see if I can get one out here. This is actually really hard to do with one hand. There we go. These are kind of neat because of the uh, pattern on them. It's kind of, it looks like kind of a cane weave, basket weave. They're five dollars each, and uh, yeah, these would probably work as nice Easter baskets too. Okay, so earlier I mentioned there were some kitchen ceramics that match the patterns that were on the towels. And these are those items. These are nice little ceramic serving trays, and you notice the patterns are the same as the tea towels we saw earlier. Now, of course, the carrot one here matches the carrot towel set that we saw, and there's a hen set here that matches the hen towels. I don't see one, though, with a rabbit that matches the rabbit towel, so I don't know if maybe there isn't one, or maybe they haven't put it out yet. I'm not sure. I've actually got two trays here that match the chicken towel set. See this uh, white one here with the blue flowers? This matches the other towel that was in that set. So now I'm wondering, are there two trays for each of the towel sets? I found a couple sets of glass tumblers here. Uh, this green set has a carrot design on it. Hopefully you can see it on the video there. Now just something to be aware of, the box does say these are hand wash only. And the clear set here has a floral design on it. I'm kind of wondering now if these come in any other colors or have any other designs. And of course, with the new seasonal release, they have new scented candles. Votive holders are made of glass and they have a nice basket weave texture to them. The scent on the pink one here is raspberry patch. I don't know, is raspberry a spring scent? To me, that's more of a summer thing. I mean, I thought you picked raspberries in the summer, right? The scent on the white one here is called spring air. The green one here has a fresh watermelon scent. I feel like watermelon's also a summery scent, not so much spring. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a few Easter items that are out for kids, starting with these adorable little bunny headbands. I mean, how cute are these? We've got two styles here, one that's pink and one that's blue, I presume for little girls and little boys. Pink one there has cute little felt flowers across the headband. That's a nice little touch. These are just a dollar piece, so hey, even a better deal than Dollar Tree, right? These are sunglasses for kids. Uh, it looks like there's at least three styles in here that I can see. First one here has little chicks on it. And the second style here looks like uh, pink flowers. Third style is just a plain set of sunglasses. They're kind of a bluish color. There's no no figure on them, which is surprising. I kind of figured there might be a rabbit or something in here. Here's some more fun dollar items. These are little wind-up toys, little jumping animals. Uh, there are chicks, bunnies, and frogs in here. Basically, you just turn the knob to wind them up and let them go, and they kind of hop along the counter or floor or wherever you have them. Young kids usually like uh, watching these or like playing with them. Uh, they're nice I items for Easter baskets. Sometimes, too, these can work as entertainment for pets. I've had cats that liked watching these in the past. Here's another really cute item for kids. These are plush wrist bracelets. They come in several different styles, including this pink bunny, which honestly I think is the cutest one in here. The price on these is $3, not $1. A lot of the kids' items are $1, but these are 3 some of the other designs include a uh, little plush duck here. He's pretty cute. I like how they gave him little rosy cheeks. And this green one here is a frog. There's also a cow in here. Not sure how the cow fits into Easter, but okay. Here's some packs of gel window clings. Uh, kids like to play with these, you know, stick them up on the window, move them around. The first set here has got a big bunny, a chick, some eggs, carrots, and flowers in it. These are just a dollar a piece. And the second set here has got a big basket with a bunny and chick in it, along with eggs and uh, letters that spell out Happy Easter. These are large bubble wands with solution. Uh, we had these here around Halloween and they sold out quick. I guess a lot of kids really wanted them. So maybe it would make a nice thing for an Easter basket. They are a little big, but I think you could probably fit them in there. These are just a dollar a piece and there are three styles here. Uh, one that looks like a carrot, one that looks like a frog, and one that has a bunny topper to it. I gotta admit the design on this is nice because there are so many uh, of the circles and ovals down the wand. All you have to do is just kind of blow down it really quick and you get a lot of bubbles all at once. Okay, so you know we had to have some peeps in here somewhere. It's just not Easter without some peeps, right? These are large plastic peep-shaped tumblers uh, with plastic straws. At this store we have them in pink and blue, but I feel like they might come in other colors just because the peep candies themselves come in so many colors. Now these do say hand wash only. You can't put them in the dishwasher. 
One more peep item here. These are peep scented bath bombs. Apparently not only do they scent the bath water, but they also dye it a color uh, to match whatever's on the package. In addition to all the Easter items, there are a couple of St. Patrick's Day items in the dollar spot right now, including this cute little wreath. Now the backing on this is covered with uh, moss and it does kind of come off easy, so it's a little messy, but it is kind of cute. I like the plastic shamrocks on the front. I found just one of these mugs for St. Patrick's Day. It says liquid gold on it. It's supposed to look like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's $3 and unfortunately this cannot go in the microwave or the dishwasher. These hanging signs are the last couple of items I saw for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, they are covered with moss and the moss is coming off really bad. Uh, they're very messy. I, I, honestly, I'm not sure I really like these because it's coming off so badly. I mean, the way they look is all right. And if you don't mind the little pieces coming off, you know, this might be a great thing for you. But for me, I just, I don't want to have to clean up little pieces of moss all over the place. So. I think these are going to be a pass for me, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll find some more St. Patrick's Day items later. I hope you've enjoyed shopping Target's dollar spot with me today. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below.